Hey, and welcome back to another Animal Crossing video. Today, we are going on a villager hunt for a special somebody, or a snooty, or a cranky. Um, so, unfortunately, my very first villager that I moved into South Perry with, Flo, moved away. And, you know, I when she asked me, I was like, oh yeah, sure, because her house is, like, very generic and has the beginning stuff. But I'm not going to lie, I'm feeling really heartbroken over it because I ended up bonding with her way more than I thought I would. <laughs> and it's it's actually really sad. And she actually has probably one of the most beautiful plots in the entire town. So I don't know. She just meant a lot to me. So I'm like a little heartbroken. But at the same time, I'm happy that she will finally have a nicer house to have. And I have her amiibo card apparently. So we can always bring her back if we hate it. But we are gonna head on out hopefully find a little certain somebody i have a lucky sweater on that ariana made for me and uh let's go let's go see if we can find her let's go island number one how exciting so i do want to say lucas sent me a single ticket and all the other tickets are of course from colorless so uh, but Lucas's lucky ticket is the first one we're using, and we will see who. We... <gasps> oh, pecan, right? Is that her name? She's really good. Oh, she's so cute. Look at her. Hey, look at me. I don't believe we've met. I'm pecan, and you are. What a lovely name you have there, Kuri. It's a pleasure to meet you. Well, if you're ever looking for a friendly face during your island vacation. You know where to find me. Guys, I have no idea what she just said because the waterfall was so loud. <laughs> hey, look, we found a, a bidet. It's like the waterfall spraying, and now we have a bidet spraying. It's a good bidet. <laughs> oh, and a bottle. What the heck? Wow, lucky island. This is lucky in all the wrong ways. Let's see what we got. A bonfire. I think I have this already, but that's still pretty good. Well, Pecan, you're really pretty, and I like to imagine she has, like, a very... That's a doorbell. On to the next island! Island number two! Let's see what we get. It looks like it might be the Swirly Island. Oh, no, there's a tree right there. I don't know what island this is. Oh, it is, it's the little, uh, whatever island. Who is, what is her name again, Gail? Oh, she's cute. I love her blue eyes. Her little teethies. What a cutie pie. Is she a snooty? She kind of sounded snooty. Oh, wow. And we got a stool. Very cool. Very, very cool. Yeah, I like Gail's color palette. I feel like I feel like there's um, a lot of villagers based on the lovely furniture from like the olden days, and I feel like Gail would be perfect with the old lovely furniture. But unfortunately, now it's called the Cute series, so I'm sure she has a bunch of cute stuff in her house. Island number three. Who's it gonna be? I feel like I make the same rhymes every single time, but you know what? It's fine. Ooh, Money Rock Island. Doo, doo, doo. Aww. Who are you? Is this Aurora? Is that her name? It is Aurora. Whoa, she gets the eyes that Dottie does. When they're shocked, they turn like red. Uh... <laughs> Why are you staring at me like that? She's like bloodthirsty. She looks cute though. I like that she looks like a normal- She would be so good for winter. I kind of wish I I would make all my characters winter characters for the winter, but like at the same time, I can always do that on another island that I haven't started yet, and I've been saying I'm gonna start forever, and I still haven't. So, Aurora, next time. Island number four. I like the color combo of the high uh, the hyacinth behind me. It's like a little a little fast food restaurant color. <gasps> you so good i need a snooty but oh cashmere oh <laughs> i love you yeah she has a little she has like a little a little froggy smile and she has like the prettiest color wool i love blue and yellow as a color combo oh 
Oh, you're so cute. And she has little freckles and little sleepy eyes. But I really, I am more inclined to look. Okay, here, here's the deal. If we see her again, if she dupes, we're going to take her. But it's too early to give up on she who must not be named. So, Kashmir, I'll see you again soon. Island number five. Oh, I always know that, like, there's absolutely no sheep as soon as I find a sheep. So it's like, I almost am anticipating, yep. I was anticipating it not being it just because the chances are so slim. Who is this? Is Simon, right? Yeah, Simon. He's pretty cool looking. He's kind of scary looking at the same time because his eyes look extra sunken in. And his mouth smile is like so drastic. <laughs> But I kind of like him in a weird way. You know, I, I originally hated the monkey villagers for a very, very long time. And because I'm just like not a big fan of monkeys in general, I find them very aggressive and kind of spooky. But the, vill the monkey villagers in Animal Crossing have definitely grown on me a little bit. Tool shelf. So Simon, you're not as bad as I probably would have thought you to be originally. So have a great, have a great day. Island number six. Ooh, pine trees. I wonder if um, in the winter when they have ornaments, if they'll have ornaments on these trees. And I kind of hope they do. It's a wolf. I don't remember which wolf this is. It's the bougie one. What's his name? Chief. It's Chief. He's pretty cool. He looks very relaxed. Very relaxed and also very bougie, so. But I don't know. There's something about the wolf villagers that I, I see the appeal and they look nice, but... I don't know, I'm just not interested in wolf villagers. So disinterested that I'm running away. Goodbye! Island seven. Lucky number seven, it looks to be a money rock island. I thought money, I always feel like money rock islands are supposed to be super rare. Oh, it's not a money rock island, okay. Who's it going to be? Where are they? Oh, it's another... Is that Simon again? It looks like... It is it is Simon again. Good thing we didn't say we were going to take him if he duped. Yeah, Simon. Simon says. But at least we got a cool piece of furniture. A mama panda. All right, Simon. You're not, you're not who I want at all. So please... I know I, I complimented you, but, you know, you can't just keep fishing for compliments. That's called pandering. So if you would kindly not arrive again, I wouldn't, I wouldn't hate it. But I hope you have yourself a great day. Island number eight. I like the pine trees. I really want to get that like triple pine tree island. I haven't gotten that one in so long. I feel like that one's really hard to find. It's Robin. I never noticed she has like three little... Oh, from far away, it looked like little stripes, but it's actually just the edging of the back of her head. Her tail is so pretty. Wow. I forgot how pretty her tail is with the yellow and... Like, her color palette is just, like, absolutely gorgeous. But I'm gonna keep moving along. Maybe shake this tree for good luck. Maybe shake this tree for good luck. Nope. It's not the one. Time to go. Island number nine. Let's see. Uh, another money rock island? It is another money rock island. It's a monkey. I don't think I've seen this monkey, but his eyes are real spooks. Oh, he's so happy sounding, though. Whoa, when he blinks, it's just like an underscore. He kind of looks like Donkey Kong. Yeah, he does look like Donkey Kong. But I don't know. He's, he's kind of spooky with those eyes. There's something about him that are a little off-putting. Louis Kong. Yeah, he's cool, but I don't know. The eye Whenever they have like really scary eyes like him and jitters i don't i don't think i like those eyes very much island number three wait did i say three <laughs> i meant island number nine i don't know why i said three. Oh, it's mira <laughs> mira do the mira dance she's so cute she must be a, um, a sisterly. I like her a lot. Oh my gosh. Well, that's fun. I like her character design. She's super vibrant. 
I am such a fan. It's it's always a toss up. I either love extremely vibrant colors or I like pastel colors and I honestly can't decide which ones I like more. I think if I had to choose a world to live in, it would probably be more vibrant than not, but that's just me. Island 10. Ooh. Aw, Sydney. Cute. Hi, Sydney. What a cutie pie. I like that she's the Twitch colors. So precious. So precious. Aw, and her blushy cheeks and her little smiley face. Oh, wait, what color are her toe beans? Is that a weird thing to ask? I feel like that's kind of a weird thing to be asking, right? Girl, show me your toe beans. They're pink, like her blushy cheeks. So cute. Oh, my heart. What a sweetie pie. Oh, but not sweet enough to get rid of these wasps. So we're gonna go. Bye, Sydney. Oh no! <laughs> I thought <laughs> I thought I could get away, and I did it. Island number 11. I like the pine trees, but I still haven't gotten like the big pine tree mountain island. <gasps> oh, we saw her last villager hunt. And you know what? I said it before and I'll say it again. Melba is like a sweet, sweet, beautiful ice cream cake. And if you don't like her, it's because you don't like sweet things like frosting on cake and you're just a monster. She's so cute. Look at her. Oops. I almost said yes. I hear ya. Melba. I wanted to shake the tree next to her. I think she wants to come home with me. Also, I really like her dress. She's just so cute. She's super cute. Oh, you know what? Here you go, YouTube. Oh my gosh! It was meant to be! <laughs> See? You just need a little faith, okay? I know I don't always hold my net, but it's because I don't want to accidentally smack villagers, okay? All right, Sydney. That's not Sydney. That's Melba. All right, Melba. See you later. Island number 12. More pine trees. I'm glad we're getting a lot of pine trees. I still really want my mountain island, but instead I always get this one. Aww! Agnes, right? Is that her name? Oh, she's- Oh, whoa, gosh, I'm so sorry! <laughs> Just, like, shoved her out of the way. Hey, Agnes. <laughs> oh, cute. Okay, so she's a sisterly. What a good sisterly. Hold on, I kind of want to try that again. Wait, wait, no, come back here. Come here. I need you to stand right here. Wait, we need to experiment something, okay, chat? We're just gonna do this. Like that. Okay. <laughs> so let's see what happens. <laughs> We're monsters. If we just... If we just go right into her. Oh, I missed. Hold on. Okay, right here. Oh, no! I deserved it! Oh. Okay, Agnes. Well, thanks for helping me out of that hole. You jerk. <laughs> island number 13. I think maybe this is the swirly island? Maybe? No, it's probably the normal one. Oh, Flurry! I had Flurry on my island very early on, and she had a hamster in her house that looked just like her, and and she had kind of creepy music. So I'm like 110% sure that Flurry is actually a mad scientist who cloned herself, and is every once in a while she'll become friends with everybody so she can pluck their hair when they're not looking and then clone them. So you know she's real, she's real cute. It's like the perfect secret identity is like this cute, innocent looking hamster with just like the mind of an evil scientist. Look, she even hid her digital scale to weigh the clonings, the clone portions to weigh them out. It's all part of her plan. She is really cute though. She would be such a cute plushie. Imagine like having like a soft, squishy, flurry plushie. Peach chair. Well, flurry, I kind of love you and I wouldn't mind having you again, but I just, you're not the personality type I want. And that personality is evil scientist. Island number 14. Let's see. Ooh, 
Ooh, this island. Is this the trash island? I think this is the trash island. Because the waterfall wall is going that way? No, wait, never mind. I don't know. We'll have to check. <gasps> it's Allie again. Ah, I kind of want Allie again. I kind of always want her. Oh, she's so cute. She's so cute. All right, well. Oh, it's the fruit island. It's the, the um, cherry island. Never mind. I, I lied about it being trash. And we got a wooden simple bed. Well, Allie. Okay, here's another thing. If we dupe Allie, we will take her as well. How about that? And then and then we'll bring her home. But we're gonna we're gonna peace. Island number 15. We got a mountain island finally. Not the mountain island I wanted, but it's still a really nice mountain island. And we'll go to our little spot over here to climb on up. Oh, I already saw Feedies. I don't know who that is. Is that Sly? No. Oh, it's Annabelle. She's so cute. Oh. What's the animal that she is again? It starts with a P, and I never remember how to pronounce it. But it's not an, it's not an armadillo, even though I like to think she looks like an armadillo. A pangolin? Pangolin? I still like the idea of her being an armadillo, and here's why. I currently live in Austin, and Austin has orange as as like the colors and there's always orange armadillos everywhere and because she's orange and kind of looks like an armadillo i will always think in my brain that she looks like an armadillo but in actuality we're all wrong because she's an anteater so you know she's so cute though look at her oh what a cutie pie she is on tin's island so i don't necessarily need her but it is always good to see her so on to the next one Island number 16. Here we go. Oh. Oh, it's Frank. I just learned about Frank for the very first time through an amiibo card, actually. And he looks like my college mascot. Oh, he's cranky? I thought he would be sporty. Oh, interesting. Oh. Ooh. Now I'm like, okay, I kind of, I kind of like him as a, like, I kind of want to take him because, you know, he's a green and gold falcon, like my college football team. And I don't know, he would be, he's a, he's a grumpy and I don't have a grumpy one yet. Ooh. I do have his amiibo card because I figured it at him out from an amiibo. So that's actually a really good point. All right, we'll keep hunting, but it's good to it's good to think about. It's definitely a good thing. And I'm really actually glad I got to see him in person because he's just really cool. Let's shake the trees for our destiny, okay? Do the good old destiny shake. Let the island decide whether we leave. Oh, the island said to go. The island said, no, Frank, we gotta leave. <laughs> no, bad luck island. It wasn't meant to be. Island 17. All these pine trees getting me in the mood for Christmas. I love Christmas. Oh! Oh! It's Tangy! Tin, do you, you have Tangy, right? Oh, so cute. She's so much cuter in the new one. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, Tin has Tangy, so I'm not gonna keep her, but she's such a good cat. She's so good. A really good peppy character to have, for sure. And look, she gave us a Prezi. An Imperial bed, ooh, fancy. <laughs> well, Tangy, you're a cutie pie, but we got, we're got we on a mission, so I'll see you later. Island number 18, a bamboo island. This is the first bamboo island of the day. Ooh, oh. It's Pierce. We were just talking about Pierce. Chat was. Is he a sporty? I didn't realize he was a sporty character. I love his color palette. He's so pretty. He's a pretty bird. But we have a sporty and sp I don't need too many sporty people on my island. Ooh, a bottle. Golden dishes. Oh, I have it already. Okay, well, Pierce, you're cool. I love your color palette. It's so beautiful, but I'm gonna move along. So have a good one. Island number 18. 
And it looks like a ma. No, I always think it's Money Rock Island. It never is. Oh, is this Kevin? Is this Kevin Bacon? Kevin? It is Kevin. Another sporty one. Oh, I like that mouth face he just made. Unfortunately, not who I want. I kind of wish Kevin looked more like Bacon because then he could be Kevin Bacon. Like, imagine if he had like Bacon markings on him. It would be so funny. But alas, he's just he's just Tiger Pig. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here we go wall-mounted candle. I think that's about it for here, but Kevin, who looks like a tiger, he's trying to blend in. Instead of a wolf with the three pigs, it's tiger and the three pigs. Island 21! Okie dokie! Oh, it's a little leopard dude. I don't know if I've ever run into him. Leonardo, his eyes are very uh, tired looking. Cool sounding from a strong sounding place. Huh. I don't know. I don't think I've ever run into him, but he's cool looking. The b His back is like, his, like, the back of his head is really, really cool. Aww. Tigers. They're kind of underrated characters, aren't they? But again, I have my sporty. I have Mr. Dom hanging out, keeping everybody under control. Ooh, diner counter chair. So we're just gonna probably leave him to be doing his wilderness training out in here. Maybe he'll catch some fish and we're gonna continue on. Island 22, it's Bamboo Island. Nice. Uh, where are they? They're usually over here. Oh, it's Cow, is it Angus? Angus. Angus, he's fine. I like his little bangs. They're really fluffy looking. He looks like he would be a soft cow. You know how there's like those super fuzzy cows? That's what Angus would be. He would be a super fuzzy cow. The fuzziest of all the cows. But we're not here for cows. We're here for uh, possibly sheep, if not... Well, he is, a, I guess, a cranky, but not... It's not like a gonzo or a sireno, you know what I mean? Island 23, and... <gasps> oh, my sweet angel. I miss her. I do miss having Kiki on my island. I think we have her amiibo card though, I think. Oh, she's so cute and cozy. Ooh. So we had Kiki for a very long time, um, but unfortunately Pietro kind of kidnapped her and put her in a cage in his house, and then she had to rescue me out of the basement, and then I tried warning her and she didn't listen, but basically she moved away and Pietro left, so I think now she's trying to move back away. But she's safe and sound away from Pietro right now. The only problem is she is a normal villager and we have a normal villager. We have multiple normal villagers, I'm pretty sure. And like Vesta is a normal that I really want. And Lolly is my other normie, but she called me your best friend and now my heart is like swole, full of, full of Lolly love. But I, I can't help but like absolutely adore Kiki. Ugh. Oh, Kiki. I love you. We just gotta walk away. We gotta walk away from the situation. She needs to grow and she needs to enjoy her time away from Pietro and keep taking her on vacation. Island number 24. There's apples. It's the mountain island. Oh, there she is. Who is that? Let's see. Oh, her bangs are cute. Ursula, she must be an Uchi. And by Uchi, I mean sisterly. It's an old har habit that's hard to break. She's cute. I like her color palette. There's so many good pink color characters. You know what they need more of? Blue colored characters. Uh-oh. Okay, we don't need more blue colored characters. I'm sorry. Island 25. No trees in the middle. That could either be two things. I don't know. It's not. Oh my gosh, it's hippo. Oh. I don't know why I love giving him like a bougie voice. Although his jacket, he kind of like with the jacket he has on, I can see him being kind of like, instead of the really bougie voice guy, he could also be like kind of like an Andy Bernard, like try to be a theater kid slash acapella singer. 
I don't know. Although Andrew Bernard would be a, a dog, I guess, so never mind. But he pull. <laughs> He's so bougie. Island 26. Let's see who it is. Did they just remove the, the three-tier mountain one with the pine trees? Oh, it's Big Top. Because I feel like I have not run into that one in, since November. I'm pretty sure November was the last time I ran into that island. And I've done a lot of island visits since then. All right, Big Top. You hang out. Have a good day. Do whatever you want. I like the superhero characters. I think they're really fun. I feel like if you had a perspective city with the city in the background and had all the superheroes, it would be really f a really fun town theme. Or island theme, rather. Island 27! Is it Money Rock Island? Because it looks like Money Rock Island. It is! Cool. Oh! Biff. He looks like bacon. Biff the Bacon Boy. We've got a lot of hippos this round. Have we? Or did I just imagine that we... I guess we only had one other hippo. I, For some reason, I thought we had more hippos than him. Oh, oh not, uh, a bottle. Gold Rose Wreath. Oh, I don't have this one yet. Cool. Not that I have any gold roses, but... Well, that's really neat. Well, Biff is cute. I actually like Biff. Is he a lazy? He sounded kind of... He's either lazy or sporty, but... He's not, he's not a cranky, snooty, or Vesta, so... Time to move on. All right, we're on island 28. It's another bamboo island. And we got some weeds and hyacinth. And uh, let's see, let's see what's, oh my God, it's Bill. Oh my God, Bill, Bill. Wilderness training is the, just the best, isn't it? I'm Bill, what's your name? Kuri, great to meet you. You're not from South Perry, are you? You are. I didn't know it was real. I heard the best abs on the planet come from there, Quacko. <laughs> you know, I I have an appreciation for Bill, but he's not really who I'm looking for. I do like that he's a sporty character, because he actually is one of the few sporty characters I, I can appreciate, but he's not really he's not really for my island, the great island of Boston. But we found a bottle on the beach. That's pretty cool. What's it going to be? What's going to be inside? Are we going to learn something? I don't know. I got a natural garden chair. I already know that recipe. But it ain't that a shame. All right, Bill, you have a great vacation. I'm gonna get out of here. Don't forget to, to park your car in the des designated parking spots. Always pay your parking tickets. Island 29. This one's gonna be another Money Rock Island. Okay. And, oh, Soleil. She was on my New Leaf Town, and I didn't like her very much. But I kind of appreciate her more now. Her voice doesn't sound like a snooty. It sounds like something else. It sounds more high-pitched than usual. She's so cute, though. But yeah, she was super mean to me in New Leaf, and I didn't really like her very much. I was, like, really happy when she left, and then I felt a little bit of regret. Not regret. I felt a little bit of guilt. Yeah, we're just... I mean, it wouldn't be bad for a snooty... But I just, I want, I just, there's a specific type of snooty in mind, but I think I would rather have over Soleil. All right, Island 30. Oh, it's a waterfall island. We haven't gotten one of these yet. First time. I'm going to be a little less picky now that we're at 30 islands because, let's be honest, going over 30 islands is exhausting. Oh, is that Annabelle again? I think that's Annabelle again. No, it's Zucker. I run into Zucker all the time. I don't know why I thought it was Annabelle. Zucker is on every single one. Every one. He's always here. Zucker. What, what even are you? Lazy? Yeah, he's lazy. Oh, Zucker. I would say things about you, but I say them every single time because he's on every single villager hunt. Or almost every villager hunt. We're just gonna take off. Let's shake a tree. Call it a day. Be risky for the bisky on the way out. See you later, Zucker. Island 31. <gasps> okay. Okay. I needed a grumpy. And this is a really good grumpy. Okay. This is, this is all. Oh, look at his face. You know what? This is actually a really great uh, cranky character. So, and he's cute. And he's a blue cat. And I love blue. He matches my town. My town is blue and white themed. 
He's a cranky, and I don't have any crankies right now. And he's a really great cranky. I do not have his ami amiibo card, as far as I know. And we're past 30 tickets, and I literally just said we were going to be less picky. I think he's a keeper. Look at his yellow eyes. Let's uh, let's shake some trees real quick, just while we think about it. But I really don't think there's much to think about, to be honest with you. He's so good, and he's smiley face. I'm a big Tom fan. Oh my gosh. Oh, you have to use cat treats for it? Wow, that's cool. Do you think Kuri will take Tom? Vote with your cat, hard-earned cat treats. So far, it's 100% yes. All right, let's see what else. Oh, yeah, we caught him. That's a good sign for Tom. And oh, there's so many sticks. I think it's up on the cliff. Let's go up on the cliff real quick. I really, I, you know, I was tr gonna try to make like a little list of me saying, oh, well, here's a reason why I shouldn't have Tom. And here's a reason why I should have Tom. But honestly, I can't think of a reason not to take Tom, especially considering I, I definitely need a cranky. So what better way to do that than to take Tom? What do you think? I'll give you another minute to decide. A uh, hundred percent of people think I picked Tom. So I'm gonna say nah. I'm just kidding, I'm taking Tom. <laughs> Wanna come to my island? Are you really asking me to move to South Perry? That's quite an invite. I almost don't know what to say, which ain't usually a problem for me. But you like it there, right? Everyone as neighborly as you? It's a great island. I'm just fun with you. Of course you're home. you love your home island. Who else? Why else would you be inviting me? Oh, yay! All right, well, I'm very happy with this result. And we'll go take a look at, um, at Tom's plot. And you know what? I kind of... I was originally gonna rearrange his entire plot, but his plot might work really well for him where it is. So let's go take a quick look. All right, so here's uh, Tom's plot. I need to rearrange it and change it so it's not as uh, frilly, frilly, frou-frou, but I think him having a pond here will be nice because he kind of seems like he would be retired and just wants to hang out and go fishing. So he has a nice view. He's kind of tucked away from everybody else too. He's up on a cliff. So it works out, but thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it, and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Bye!